What's up everybody? Hope y'all are doing well. Well, it feels like spring might actually finally be here. It's nice and warm today. The trees are in bloom. We've got all sorts of flowers popping up everywhere. And we're gonna hit the thrift stores. I've got some packages to drop off first. And then we're gonna go see if we can uh, find any good stuff to resell online. We've got a birthday trip coming up. We're heading down to the Smoky Mountain National Park, as well as hanging out in Gatlinburg for a little bit. So just gonna see if I can find some cool stuff to sell online, maybe recoup some of the expenses of that trip. We're gonna pop in. Hopefully we find some cool stuff. Let's do it. Actually found a vintage t-shirt, a decent one. Cleveland Indians, 1998. Not much in the way of clothing in this store today. I did come across this St. Louis Cardinals Rally Squirrel t-shirt. It's pretty cool for three bucks. I don't know if I'm gonna snag it or not, but I looked through every piece of clothing in this store. Nothing really catching my eye. So you win some, you lose some. So I got this cool t-shirt here. It's got like the Native American tribal looking horses on it. On the sleeve, it says Palm Springs Desert Museum. So we're gonna grab this one too. Came up on two nice pairs of ultras. We got these zero drops here. These are the Torn Fours. They're gonna be five bucks. And for eight bucks, I came up on a pair of, what are these? The Lone Peaks, I feel like the 4.5s. So these are gonna be good too. Love picking up ultras. Got this super nice Columbus Crew soccer jersey, Adidas. Soccer season's starting up right now, so should be a good sale. Nothing too crazy, but we do have a Ryan Adams band t-shirt from I think 2008 for two bucks. We should go for about 30 or so, so that's a solid find. I always pick these up. This is just gonna be three bucks. It's just like one of these little handheld games and sells for like 20 bucks. Yeah, so I got a good amount of hats the other day at this estate sale. Uh, they were all pretty dirty, so I had to clean them up. But I got them all washed up, and they all turned out pretty nice. I just wanted to run through them real quick. Got the Cincinnati Bengals Super Bowl hat. Uh, this one's really nice. Cincinnati Reds 1995 Central Division Champs. Got like a little bit of wear on the little button on the top, but not bad. This one I actually found laying on the garage floor. It was pretty disgusting. I cleaned it, and it turned out pretty good. Cincinnati Bengals vintage wool hat made by Drew Pearson. This is a pretty good one here. Should get like 30 to 35 bucks for it. Just an old 1980s St. Louis Cardinals trucker. This one was pretty bad shape too and turned out decent. This Jeff Gordon kind of cool like color blocking NASCAR hat. For whatever reason, these hats always look super cool but they don't really sell for a ton of money. Still cool to find though. And then a West Virginia Mountaineers vintage snapback as well. So not a bad little haul. Okay, so I went to the Goodwill bins and I got a bunch of stuff. I had a pretty good haul and I want to share it with you guys because it's like a good variety of stuff. Um, so it's like a good representation of what I like to buy and sell online. Anyway, let's hop into it. So got a bunch of hats as usual. Bass Pro Shops, trucker hat. Not really worth a lot, but it's brand new with tags. So picked it up. Vintage Budweiser snapback, super cool. The matching twin Budman vintage snapback, super nice. Another vintage trucker hat, orange camo, super good. This one here is just a plain one, brand new with tags. It's got the original Meyer tag on it from the department store for $3.27. The USS Ohio, Vietnam vet, USS Rainier, and USS Kitty Hawk. Always like picking those up, they sell pretty good. Got this old polo hat from the US Open 2005. Thought that was pretty nice. These are actually fairly desirable. I think I should be able to get like $40 for this hat. On top of that, got another old vintage polo hat. Titleist golf hat. And then this is a Grayson, this is a golf brand. So I picked this one up as well. Probably honestly my favorite pickup of this entire haul. But this is a vintage Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle Performance Parts trucker hat. It's pretty amazing. As with a lot of vintage trucker hats, the inner, the interior foam is disintegrated. So I will have to do a little bit of work to get that out of there. But once I do so, it will be good as new. I did some research on this hat online and it seems like it's pretty rare. I found one of them on eBay. Someone's asking over $200, I think like 275 bucks for it. So should do pretty well. Should be able to get over $200 for this hat. Pretty amazing. I keep forgetting, I did pick up some more hats. This is a Stetson Cabbie Newsboy hat. 
Got a Stetson 1984 Indiana Jones branded uh, wool hat here. I already sold this one for $45, so pretty cool. Got a Harley Davidson painter's cap, 100% wool. And then this one's actually in great shape. It's just a little dusty, I'll have to clean it up. But this is a Bailey branded felt cowboy hat, really high quality. And these sell for around $100 used on eBay. All right, now moving on to the next category of the haul, which are bags. I got not one, but two of these super nice Ortlieb uh, panniers. So they fit on the side of your bikes. They're for bike packing or if you're commuting to work, these would be great. So they're completely waterproof. They have like the nice roll top where they clip into the sides and these are pretty expensive, brand new. So I should be able to get close to $100 for the two of these. And then this one here is an old Kipling vintage mini backpack. I've sold these in the past. They sell for like $30 to $40. So this one's super clean. So I went ahead and picked it up. All right, next category is the clothing. I did pick up some additional pieces over here off camera, but this is kind of the more notable stuff. So got this Levi Strauss Sherpa jacket. It's not a vintage one or anything, but pretty nice. If I find it at the bins, I'm definitely going to pick it up. It even has a few little stains on it, but Shouldn't have any issues selling it. Got this really nice vintage Eddie Bauer chore jacket. It's got the corduroy collar. It's got like an interior lining that you can take out. So as we approach into the spring months, if you want it to be a little bit of a lighter weight jacket, you can take out this liner and continue to wear it. Got this uh, Goodwrench Racing GM Parts old crew neck here with the raglan cut sleeves. Super nice, it's like the first thing I found at the bins. Did pick up one t-shirt, nothing too crazy, but it's a Glacier National Park t-shirt. It's got some nice distressing around the neckline, super nicely faded, very soft, and I do like the graphic on the front. Okay, moving into the final category, which is the shoes. Uh, first of all, I picked up this pair of Birkenstocks sandals, nice brown suede, pretty good condition, like really no heel wear. Now that we're getting into the warmer months, they should sell pretty quick. Got this pretty unique pair of Converse All-Stars. They're actually like pretty nice structurally. I'll just have to clean them up a little bit, but shouldn't have any issue selling those. Got a super nice pair of PF Flyers. These are like all leather, really nice, good condition. And I don't think you can really buy this exact model anymore. So should be able to get, I'm thinking around 50 bucks for this pair. Nice pair of Vans here. When I find them at the bins, I'm always gonna pick them up if they're in good condition just because they will sell. And then last but not least, these might not look like much. They're a beat up old pair of Converse, but they are my first pair of Made in USA Converse. They've got like some terrible heel drag, but all in all, pretty cool. I have never found USA Converse before. So when I found these in the bins, had to grab them. Don't exactly know what I'm gonna get for them. They are a small size. They are pretty banged up, but I'm still thinking somewhere in the $50 range. Don't really know yet. I have to do a little bit more research on these. Guess I'm getting into women's fashion today. I don't know what's going on, but should be pretty good. I'm excited. Okay, so tell me why these grandma shoes are like my biggest thrift haul that I've had in probably the past year or so. I got two full bags of these things, Belgian shoes. I was just walking around the store. I wasn't really finding anything. And I came across these suckers and I could just tell the quality. So you don't gotta know like all the different brands. You just gotta know quality. And then you can just look it up. So I got these suckers and look at the comps for these guys. This is crazy. I'll show you the haul when we get home, but we're gonna be making some money off of these. Okay, so I had to share this little haul with you guys. So I don't know like women's shoes very well. I'll always skim through them and pick up stuff like this. Things that I do know, running shoes, pairs of ultras, and other workout type shoes. Uh, but like as far as women's dress shoes, I don't know anything about them. But for whatever reason, these just kind of caught my eye. As you can see, there were a bunch of them. Um, but yeah, I just looked them up just because they kind of looked like quality. And I am happy I did. This pair, or this brand, is called Belgian Shoes. Made in Belgium. Looks like they're kind of like headquartered in New York, though, according to their website. But they go for absolutely insane money. They're handcrafted, hand-stitched, all that stuff. So I've got a few pairs of suede and a couple, like, shiny leather. Uh, kind of varying condition. All of them are pretty good. Some of them, like this pair, almost looks like it's 
completely unworn. I paid like $6 a pair for these and they go anywhere on the used market on eBay from like 100 bucks all the way up to like $300 and they go for over $500 new. What's up everybody? How's it going? So we're out here at the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. It's my birthday weekend and we're just gonna have a fun, action-packed weekend. It's uh, beautiful weather, sunny, and we have all sorts of fun stuff planned, so it should be a great time. We're gonna do our best to document a little bit of it and uh, show you what we get into this weekend, so it should be a great time. Okay, we're starting the Cades Cove Loop. Got some horses down here at the stables. It's a beautiful day. Time is 8, 10 a.m. Stay back 50 yards, you can be injured or killed. Water crossing. Arizona. Oh. Look, there's uh, turkeys, Lean. Turkeys! Wildlife sighting. Turkeys. Okay, wildlife sightings. You can put your window down. Fucked up. Oh. Here we are at the historic John Oliver cabin. Built circa 1820. Let's go in. That's Let's crazy. In, huh? Yeah. It's crazy to think that some dude was just living out here. 1820 in this little house. Now let's see. If we, would, if we could live in here. Because <laughs> that's what you always do. You're like, I could see us living here. Yeah, I always do the tour. Oh. So small. Wow, could you imagine? Look, he built a closet. Hey, there's an upstairs. Yeah, there's an upstairs. I don't. It's closed off to it's us. It's closed off now. You actually can see the upstairs. Well, how did he put the hinges in? There's like hinges. They've probably redone it since then. And there's the fireplace. Well, there really is an upstairs. I know. That was probably where they slept. Yeah. Front porch. You had double porches, actually. We have triple porches. One of our goals for this trip, I had four things I wanted to do. What were they? One of which was go to Cades Cove, which we're doing now. I wanted to go into a historic building. I wanted to go to a lookout point and a nature center. Oh. So we're checking off two things at once. Cades Cove Primitive Baptist Church, organized June 16th, 1827. Wow. This is neat. Look, that one says Oliver. Oh. 1897. Crazy if that was John Oliver. It could be. Oliver's family right here. Yeah. Look. Founder of Gregory's Bald about 1830. Murdered by North Carolina rebels. What? Crazy. Hey guys. Good morning. Let's go. We just came up this random gravel road and we happened upon Another one. the old Elkmont Cemetery. So we're gonna go up here and check it out. See if it's open. Check 
check it out. Sir. <laughs> it's unlocked. 1924. What does this one say? Stuart Unby. 1924. Some of these headstones are just oh, rocks. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Appalachian Trail. You can see the end, Katahdin, Maine, 1,972 miles to the northern terminus. Just that way. It's cold. Okay, so we're at Newfound Gap, and basically this is pretty much the border of Tennessee and North Carolina. So if you look over here, this is the Tennessee side, and then if you look behind us, over that away, is North Carolina. North Carolina, baby. So we wanted to go all the way up to Clingman's Dome, which is the highest point in the Smoky Mountains, but it's still closed for the winter. So this is as high up as you can go. Yep. We're gonna go right to this outlook right here. It's really cold. There you go, you see the sign Gatlinburg right there. And 20 miles to Cherokee, North Carolina. <laughs> Cody's birthday trip and we see St. Patty's Gatlinburg. St. Patty's Gatlinburg collaboration, <laughs> baby. I like there's Blake shouting in the window. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's Land Shark. We might have to go here for at least a drink because my sister recommended me to go here. <laughs> Patty's flags everywhere for your birthday. I know. You like I love the Canadian geese. What's up, dude? I love how the river just flows like right through the town. That's what I'm saying. Like there's a restaurant right on the river. <laughs> Let's keep on cruising. We're figuring out where we're going to go. Yes. Welcome to the Mountain Mall. A mini board. Doggy store for M. Here's an old phone booth. <laughs> Finally. I haven't eaten since like 6 a.m. I know. That's a big old club. Man, the Kista Bears. It's so cool. Look at the tree. <laughs> so I think we're going to end this one here. Once again, we really appreciate you watching. Catch you on the next one.